So it's July 2020 and two of the best cameras in history are announced. The Canon R5 as well as the big boss. Okay, we gotta zoom in on my face on this. The Sony A7S III. Little did we know was that these two cameras would shed a light on an issue that will plague YouTube for years to come, which is overheating. So my ninjas in this video, I am spilling the tea on overheating as well as how I, your boy Sky Money, avoids it. And now, before I do, I gotta give a huge shout out to today's coffee sponsor, which is Digital Chat Pippin, thank you so much for the coffee. And if you wanna buy me a coffee, don't be shy. The link is down below. But if not, you already know, no tea, no shade, cause I ain't a hater. <laughs> not pimping but yes overheating has always been a thing but it's literally only popped up just like in literally since 2020 and the reason for that had to be because the sony a7s3 came out along with the canon r5 and what that taught everybody was that yeah the canon r5 was overheating like crazy so not only did you have a bunch of people announce that they're switching from canon to sony but you had a wave of people just testing cameras to see if they would overheat. And Pippin, if you don't believe me, just go look at YouTube itself. Plus, people didn't have nothing else to do. They were just sitting inside. You know, the vid was around. People were so bored. Why not just sit a camera down and see if it overheats? And with the brand new Sony ZV-E1 coming out, the first thing people wanna know is, is it gonna overheat though? You know, I need to be more clear because nowadays it's more like, is it gonna overheat shooting at 4K, 120, sitting on a desk, doing nothing, everything cranked up to the max, stabilization, bump that baby up, screen brightness, bump that up. Is it gonna overheat on me? And look, I know that sounds crazy, but that's how a lot of people be. Like, I'm like, who's ever gonna use a camera like that? Man, I have worked on sets for like 14 years and I've never seen anybody shoot where they're just sitting the camera down at the highest frame rate and sitting down and talking. Like, I, I've never seen it. So now that we know why overheating has been like a huge issue since 2020, even though it's always been an issue, how can we prevent our cameras from overheating now as well as in the future? Because we want to bring the sauce. Whether it's your action cameras, your point and shoots, or your big mirrorless camera. Well, Pimpin, glad you asked. <laughs> And now the first way I avoid overheating issues is I know and understand what kind of camera I am using. For example, if I am using an action camera, and those are simply your GoPros and like your DJI action. I mean, we all know what action cameras are. So if I'm using an action camera, I simply set up the camera for success. Meaning I know that if I'm not moving around and I'm sitting down static, one, I should not be shooting in 4K60 or 4K 120 for a long period of time. And then two, just simply turning off stabilization because again, I'm not moving. And if I am moving, I know for a fact that this camera will not overheat. And I'm not even talking about like running or anything, just walking. The cameras will not overheat. Perfect example, I was in LA, super hot day, and I filmed for about three hours in 5.3K 60 on the GoPro Hero 11. No overheating issues at all. All. If you do want to see some of that footage, just go check out my travel channel. So you got to actually think about what camera you are using and how you should be using it. And then Pimpin, just, just set it up accordingly. That's it. Take some time. Take five minutes and set this camera up right. And now the second way I avoid overheating issues, especially with the bigger cameras, is I usually set the auto temp to high. A lot of the new cameras have this option as well as even some of the action cameras. So go to your settings, go to auto power temperature and set it to high. And this is basically you telling the camera that it's okay if it gets a little too hot. And now this next tip is for people who are gonna be sitting down static for maybe an hour or so. And this could be due to like your talking headset make taking a while to film or you doing some kind of interview. And if I'm being honest, if I'm keeping it 100 no pee. I do feel like this is where most people are having problems. Indoors, static, long shots, no cut. So a couple of simple ways to avoid overheating while sitting static in a room recording for a long period of time, no cutting, is by one, flipping out the screen. The screen produces a lot of heat because of the light. And then two, use an external power source if you can. This will reduce overheating drastically. So try to your best to use an external power source. And, and this is just simply plugging the camera up in the wall, which is good because again, you're going to be sitting there for an hour, maybe even two if you're doing an interview, you don't want the cameras to die. This is this is what we do all the time in the studio. Three, try opening up some of the doors on the camera because this will also reduce heat. And a quick side note, I was reading a forum and what I've heard was that on these bigger cameras, if you just open up the battery door, I heard that that could reduce overheating by like a lot. So yeah, my, it, it's worth giving it a try. And then four, turn off stabilization. Like, 
skip it. You don't need stabilization turned on if you're gonna be sitting in a room for an hour doing like an interview. You don't need stabilization on. And you don't, matter of fact, turn off like any kind of GPS, Wi-Fi, turn all of that stuff off because again, you don't really need it if you're gonna be sitting down doing interviews, the camera sitting static for about an hour. And now hidden on the big one, Big Meech, the one that causes cameras to overheat the most is the frame rate and resolution. And now again, Pimpin, a lot of this advice is for people who are shooting long takes. If you are just shooting normally, meaning you're recording, you're stopping, you are gonna be Gucci regardless what frame rate or what resolution you're in. But if you are sitting in the house for like an hour, taking no cuts, no external power source, then change the frame rate, change the resolution. Don't be shooting in 4K 6. Do not shoot in 4K 120. <laughs> I know, I know that's silly to say, but you gotta say it. Don't be sitting down shooting in 4K 120. Matter of fact, don't even shoot in 4K 60. Cause at the end of the day, nobody's gonna really care. Matter of fact, I mean, I can wholeheartedly say, I'ma go ahead and just, I'ma uh, I'm spill the tea, but I'ma go ahead and say, I have the Sony a7S III, and for like half of my videos on this channel, I've shot in 1080p. And it's not really because of overheating, it's because of the file size. <laughs> These file sizes coming from the Sony a7S III in 4K, they are, they they steep. They they take up a lot of space. And I legit already have like an eight terabyte drive and it's almost full because I was shooting most of the vlogs and most of the videos in 4K. But ever since I switched to like 1080p, no one even notices. <laughs> so my ninjas, it's okay. I'm just being real. I'm just being real. Now occasionally I do shoot in 4K, but like again, this channel, I just shoot so much footage and I shoot a lot of videos. Yeah, it's all done in like mostly 1080p. And then for the travel channel, I have been using the GoPros a lot and I've been shooting in 5.3K, so that takes up even more space. So I got a separate drive for that, a 16 terabyte drive. So if you are that worried, had to change spots, that's sun, man. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, if you are that worried about overheating, just shoot in a lower frame rate or lower resolution and turn off all that extra stuff and you pimping will be Gucci. And I know a bunch of y'all are probably like, but Sky Money, my camera shoots in 4K, my camera shoots in 8K. I gotta bring the sauce. Well, Pimpin, I'm gonna tell you right now though, that it kinda doesn't matter. Like even all those years soon on sets, sometimes we shot in 1080p. <laughs> and no one notices it. <laughs> Turn off the highest possible stabilization and don't shoot in 4K 60. Don't, just, just don't. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a give and take. It's a camp. You gotta treat the drip right. Ooh, it's windy. <laughs> and now my last tip would have to be to just take cuts. You, it's okay to cut. Some people can do the one take game. I mean, Harsh Money, shout out to him cause he, he a boss. But I strongly believe the reason why I haven't had, I've never had any overheating issues whether it's with the Sony A7S III, the Sony ZV-1, the DJI Action 2, the GoPros, is because I take cuts. And now for the travel channel, I do not cut. I just do one long continuous record. But yeah, for this channel and for these vlogs and things, yeah, Pimpin, I'm cutting all the time. Because it's just so much better in post-production. Like when I'm editing, it's just so much easier. And, and plus, come on, like, why would I press record once and then film everything I just showed you guys and talked to you guys about? Why? That, that makes no sense. <laughs> so Pippin, seriously, do yourself a favor and take cuts and you will be fine. But Pippin, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Huge shout out to Digital Chat Tech for the coffee. And if you wanna buy me a coffee, don't be shy. The link is down below. But if not, no tea, no shade, cause I ain't a hater and my hood never let me be a hater. Thanks again for watching. And Pippin, get out there and kill the game. <laughs> I saw something in my eye. Dang it. But yeah, get out there and make some stuff. And if you still have an overheating issues, Hit me up, Pimpin', hit me up. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>